Welcome to Philippine Canadian Inquirer's Daily News Roundup brought to you by CanadianInquirer.net, your only Filipino Canadian daily news portal. Thank you for joining us. In the news, PNP chief orders regional directors to stop illegal gambling within 15 days. Illegal gambling should be eradicated within 15 days, PNP chief Ronald De La Rosa ordered on Monday. According to him, police regional and provincial directors who would fail to meet the deadline can be removed from service. De La Rosa's ultimatum targets police officers who cover up operations of bookies, wetang, suertres, and other illegal gambling activities. Philippine Charity Sweepstakes Office recently criticized the PNP for being lenient in the execution of anti-gambling campaign, which could be one of the reasons why De La Rosa ordered the ultimatum. Vice Mayor Parohinog can't be acting mayor while in detention. In continuation of the reports on the drug raid at the residence of the Parohinog that led to the death of Azamis Mayor Reynaldo Parohinog, his wife and several others, his daughter Azamis Vice Mayor Nova Princess, who survived the encounter, is claimed to be incapable to replace her deceased father as mayor of Azamis City. The vice mayor on Monday was brought to Camp Kramer in Quezon City, a day after her arrest in her residence, where 1.4 million cash, half a kilogram of suspected shabu, and several farms were recovered. However, Vice Mayor Parohinog claimed that the evidences against her family were planted by the police. South Koreans protest another THAAD deployment. South Korea's peace activists protest outside the presidential Blue House and the Defense Ministry's headquarters on Monday over the deployment of the U.S. Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Missile Defense System. Despite heavy rains, over a hundred partook to show their opposition. After the Democratic People's Republic of Korea test launched an intercontinental ballistic missile late Friday night, President Moon Jae-in called for the start of consultations with the United States on the deployment of the other remaining THAAD launchers. Lee Sok Ju, chief of the Sozung Ri village in Songju County, said that the currently deployed THAAD is illegal and further deployment will never be accepted. He cited that they will stop THAAD on the road by mobilizing all available tools.